We are doing the grade 11 November 2018 paper, PRAC exam for IT from the Eastern Cape, and we're finishing off question three. So in part one of our video for this question, you must go watch that to understand what we're going to be doing for this part. Um, we looked at how do we create a shopping list uh, based on the data from that. You, that video explains everything. Um, and so what we've done is we've displayed everything in the rich edit control. Now we want to do everything that we displayed in the rich edit control must also be in this a shopping list text file. And then a message must indicate that we've written that. So the only things that we do in this video is taking whatever we put into the rich edit control, we're also going to put into a text file called shopping list. So let's go to our program whenever we do this. So we've got the code over here. So because we used my file to read from a text file, we now need a brand new text file that we're going to my new file is what I'm going to call this new one. So my file is the one we used to stock list, the one that currently exists that we getting information from. And my new file is the one that we are going to write to. So they want us, this list must also be stored. The shopping list must be displayed, including a heading now because this shopping list is being created every single time. I'm not creating multiple versions of it and I'm not adding on to it. So I'm assuming that when we run the code, if there is currently a shopping list, it must be a brand new one must be created in its place. So that's important. So the, when we write into a text file, we also need to do an assigned file like we're doing over here. But I'm going to do it a bit earlier because I want to include all of this into that text file as well. But we don't have to do it. We can do it whenever we want. So let's do this over here. I'm going to do it over here. Okay. So this is the part. So we're going to say assign file. And we're assigning to my new file. We're assigning the word, not that, undo. Shopping. Thought I'd copy the, the text. Shopping list. Shopling. What is the, the name? Shopping list.txt. Shopping list.txt. Okay, so we've assigned the new file to that particular one, not to the stock list, to that one. And um, there's no reset needed, but we need to create this text file. If it doesn't exist, we must create it. Um, and if there's currently stuff in it, we must reset it and get, or not reset, but get rid of whatever's in it. So we are always going to rewrite this new file. Okay. If they want us to add on to the current shopping list, if it existed, then you would append the menu file. Um, but append would crash if the file does not exist. So then that would be a problem. So if you're ever in a situation where you must create a file if it doesn't exist, but if it does exist, you must add on to it, then you would have to do some sort of code over here. If the shopping list.txt file exists, then you want to append it. If it doesn't exist, then you want to rewrite it. But in this case, we are always rewriting. We are always creating a new one. So if that file exists, it will recreate a new one. If it doesn't exist, it will create a new one. So there we go. So that's rewrite. Then what do we want to put in rewrite? We want to put in these items as well. So we're going to use the write line option into my new file. And I'm literally going to be writing in the same text as what we do for the, the list. Um, you could use hash 13s if you want. I'm actually just gonna copy this every time. That's gonna be my quickest way. Write a new line, we're gonna put in a nothing, a blank line, so there we go, it's exactly the same as this. And when we write line over here, to, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna write line exactly like we did in the, the memo control or the rich edit control. So instead of that, we're just going to put in. So whatever we were putting into the rich edit, I'm also putting into the text file. And the same thing over here. Uh, we're going to copy that. We're going to add that. If you don't understand what this code is all about, you'll have to look at the previous video to explain what we're doing here. So these are the two scenarios. If it's kilograms, kilograms or bottles, we just put it in like that. Otherwise, we're going to put it in like that. And then um, that's it. And then once that's done, if you look here at what it must be displayed, 
I don't think we have to put that in the text file, but some sort of line like this at the end must display, hey, the shopping list is saved to file. So that's what's going to be put into the rich edit. So at the end of all of this, once the file is closed and all that, then we can say, put in a blank line. And then we can say, hey, just like it is the shopping list saved to file, shopping list, oh, small l, list saved to file. And we must remember that we must also close my new file. A lot of people forget that part, and that actually is the reason why sometimes the file will not appear in that. So make sure that you close the new file, that'd be great. So this is a recap. We assigned new file to its value. We rewrote it or rewrite it so that it creates a brand new file every single time. And whatever we put in the rich edit, we use the right line to put it into the, the text file that we are creating. There, there, there. And then we close our new file. I think that's all. It looks like that's fine. If I go to the question, you'll see at the moment in the folder, there is just the stock list.txt, just the one item. So if I run it, Let's see if it gives any errors. Please don't give any errors. And I click that. Boom, it says shopping list is saved. I'm gonna close the program. I'm gonna go back to my folder. There's a shopping list. Let's see what's in it. Hey, 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 that looks quite legit, eh? And if I come here to the text file, and let's say I change something let's change something that we need to add let's say you see we've got enough patties we want chicken patties i'm going to make that we don't have enough chicken patties we've only got 10 so we must order more i'm going to save this save that um so now that i've saved it it should then give me a different uh, list get the shopping list ah you see chicken patties has been added to the list that's fantastic now if i go to my text file You'll see that the text file is brand new. It hasn't been added on. It's just got that at the bottom. Okay, I think that's everything from the question. It looks like it's everything. Display, yep, looks good. Okay, so there we go. Question three, done. Now that was a lot quicker, but there was just that part that needed to be added. For the other videos from this question paper, as well as videos on Delphi for grade uh, 11 IT, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.